Hey, hey, this is Rhonda Del Baccio, the Crafty Blind Girl. Hello, hello. Um, I'm coming to you today with um, a live the plan with me is what I like to call these. It's a sort of a plan with me, but I'm not making you sit and watch me put down stickers because, I mean, you know, who has a lot of time and whatever. But I'm going to show you some thought processes that could be helpful. So here I did my monthly for February. What I happen to have is a big happy planner and it the one from last year that I have was called kindness always I believe and I didn't really find one that I adored for this year for the dashboard layout and so what I did was I purchased some editable downloads from print a plan shop Etsy and I will have her information below and she had the months and then I also had a regular layout which I printed and I'll show you that in a separate video, but I'll just give you some ideas because I know for monthlies, if you don't buy sticker kits or whatever, which I you know, occasionally do, but they can be kind of expensive and whatever, but here's some ideas for you. So one of the things I liked about print a plan, which I covered up, but she only has her uh, month and year are right here. They're not month on one side and year on the other, like the planners themselves do. So that part I liked, although sometimes I don't care to see the month and I really needed positive messages. This was an inspirational washi tube from Michaels, but you know, whatever it is that you like. This is February. I'm not all into Valentine's Day and gawky hearts and all of that. I like hearts sometimes, but not, you know, not Valentine's Day. So, but I just used some big washi for the um, top. And then um, she has, the only thing I don't love is I don't like the months here and this is not something I could edit out. So I might end up covering that one, but I just found a cute sticker. And I like messages about love. Those are always in season as far as I'm. So I just had an interruption from someone who heard me recording a video, but knocked on the door anyway. Uh, anyhow, so, um, washi, to me, I like decorating with washi for the monthly, and so with the nice, all inspirational type of washi I have and those fun stickers, that's a lot of what I was using to create the look for this month. Um, and then things, maybe you have a sticker, like I'm in a group called Owl, like the animal, we're having an event. So I just put an owl sticker. I know there's an owl event that day. And another thing that I love that I want to point out is I like the Wacky Holidays. And these ones are from Craft Penguin Planners. Any shop I mention, I'm going to put the link below. Even though I'm not a PR girl, I still want you to shop there and find someone, um, you know, PR girl to follow or whatever for a discount. But they participate in the planner sales. I think it's planner collaborative, one of the planner sales anyway. And um, I just bought the entire 2022 set. So I have them. I don't have to go back every month and get the next one or two or whatever. So those are craft penguin. I use the phases of the moon, which there's one from Armadillo Amore or Amor. And then the astrological sign stickers also from there. I think these are really pretty. And I think they have a smaller set. That's the big one. It's a little big, but, you know, it's okay. It, but it's really cool, and I like the design of it. And they're such sweet people. And they, um, they don't really participate in the big sales, but they do sales. So once you start following them, and again, they're down below, you'll see their info. Once you start following them, you'll see when they have sales. And if you favorite an item in an Etsy shop, whenever it goes on sale, you will get a message hey, this item you favorited is on sale for whatever. Like I just found one thing I love is 60% off. So, woohoo. So there's that. And then on the bottom, when I have these extra uh, blank spaces for the days. Now I have stickers from Happy Planner books. There's an encouragement book and there's a rainbow book. So I use some of those. Um, and uh, then I have some washi. So that's kind of what I do for 
how you decorate a monthly if you're not using a kit. Just find if there's a color, if there's a theme, if there's a special event that month and you kind of want to highlight it. If you just really adore the color yellow, I don't care if it's the dead of winter, but damn it, you need flowers, then put flowers. You know, put whatever it is that you like to make it work for you. I hope that gives you some ideas on how to decorate a monthly planner. Um, monthly view in your planner without a kit. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will like this video, subscribe, and tap the bell. When you tap the bell, you get all my vids. Right when they come out, you can be among the first to see it. And if you have something you might want me to cover or a planner question, because I'm kind of a think outside the box. I don't really do kits very often. You know, so I always do different things. So if you need some inspiration or some ideas, drop me a comment. Just slide in there and I will help you out in a future video. Thanks. As always, cheers to your blissful life.